inventory subledger related to it. So as I do this uh, in practice, I might have a separate Excel sheet, for example, that's counting the units of inventory that I'm purchasing, not just the dollar amount. And I might be using a flow assumption like first in, first out, LIFO uh, or FIFO or weighted average, usually weighted average or first in, first out. And then periodically at the end of the day, at the end of the week or at the end of the month, I'll do my cost of goods sold calculation, which is going to be beginning inventory plus purchases, which is basically reflected here in the inventory account minus ending inventory gives us the difference the, the, which is going to be called cost of goods sold. We assume we sold the difference. It wasn't, there could have been spoilage or shrinkage and that kind of stuff, but we assume we sold the difference. And then what I would do is I'd have to do an adjusting entry at the end of the day, at the end of the week, or at the end of the month, reducing inventory and recording the cost of goods sold, which we can do with a plus button. We'd have to do an actual journal entry to do that because cash would not be impacted. This would be an internal kind of thing. Or we can go to the register to do that. I can right click on the tab over here. Let's duplicate it so I can get to the register. And you can enter a journal entry with a register entry, which sometimes is an easier way to go if there's only two accounts affected. Going down to the accounting on the left hand side and the chart of accounts. If you're in the bookkeeping view, by the way, it's in bookkeeping and then the chart of accounts. And then within here, you could go into like the inventory it has a register, kind of like the check register. And you can go in here and enter a journal entry, decreasing, decreasing this account and the other side go into the cost of goods sold. So that's uh, a periodic type of method that uh, that you could use. 